four years after Britain pioneered the hovercraft, the world's first hovercraft passenger service started from Rill in North Wales to Wallasey on the Wirral. With six trips a day each way, at one pound a trip, passengers flocked to book their seats. The world's first mail to be delivered by hovercraft also went aboard the VA-3. Using the beach as a terminal, the hover coach was ready to leave. Its lifting engines ease it down to the water. And the spray flies. Spray was one of the problems of the earlier hovercraft, but as the craft go faster, it's considerably reduced. What's it like to drive? Like a car on ice, says 41 years old chief test pilot Les Cahoon. At 70 miles an hour, VA-3 rides three feet clear of the water, like a low-flying aeroplane. But compared with an aeroplane of the same weight, the hovercraft needs only one quarter of the power for the same speed. Ideal for sea trips up to 100 miles, the larger hovercraft of today would make excellent long-distance ferries. Passenger fares would work out at about thruppence a mile, the same as a bus. The 15-mile rill to Wallasey trip, which normally takes two hours by road, is a 20-minute hop for VA3. With congested air traffic and overcrowded roads, this new vehicle is undoubtedly an important form of transport of the future. And there are plans for a 10,000-ton ocean-going hovercraft travelling at 250 miles an hour within the next 10 years. Leading the world now, Britain's new hovercraft industry should be given one order only. Full speed ahead. <laughs>